The next panelist is Rod Harris. Rod is president and CEO of Tourism BC. And again, for those of you from outside of uh, British Columbia, Tourism BC is an agency that the provincial government set up many years ago to do the marketing uh, of BC tourism around the world. Uh, so it is, it is a, a child, I suppose, of government, but it is a, at arm's length. Uh, from government, uh, I think it was a great idea to uh, to get the politicians out of marketing because we're all experts in marketing, you know. But really, really, we're not. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, we're very proud of, of the work that uh, Tourism BC does. I, I think they are one of the best in, in the world. And uh, Rod Harris is a is a walking encyclopedia of knowledge about uh, marketing of, of tourism. So I look forward to your comments, Rod. With that wonderful introduction, I have to say thank you very much, Prime Minister Bennett. <laughs> um, Philip did a, a great job of uh, describing the various ways in which the provincial government is acting in a position as an enabler. Uh, if you want an understanding of how we function, if Philip is the enabler, then we're the accelerator, because our job is to connect operators with consumers or consumers with operators. So first of all, I have to tell you how happy I was to see how many hands went up for the individuals who come from outside of the province to spend your money, uh, stay longer, spend lots, and enjoy your visit here in supernatural British Columbia. Um, I'll be fairly brief today, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you a sense of some of the activities that we're doing with the operators and other activities that we do with the consumer to make sure that we're bringing together the interests of both the operators and the consumers as it relates to sustainable tourism practices, both from a social and an economic perspective, as well as, of course, from an environmental perspective. If you think about the operator, um, obviously in this day, uh, particularly this day or these past few weeks, our operators have been facing incredibly uh, difficult market conditions. So it's very important for Tourism British Columbia to have a good gauge of the interest and the capacity of individual operators to be able to respond to not only the pressures of the marketplace, but also recognize some of the unique competitive advantages that they can present by showcasing some of those practices of a social, environmental, or economic uh, manner that will help uh, distinguish British Columbia as one of the leaders in the world. There's a variety of activities that we have in place to assist our operators or to better understand the operators, some of which rely on a fairly robust uh, inventory of research. Uh, regularly, every year, we do a lot of survey work with our operators to try to understand what are their particular needs and some of the opportunities they have of taking advantage of the various market opportunities. But we also have a variety of development programs. We have one program called Community Tourism Foundations that works with individual communities and operators to help identify those market opportunities that make most sense from the individual operator's perspective and from those smaller communities. As a matter of fact, we have uh, close to 160 communities in British Columbia. We have close to 60 of them have gone through a formal business planning process in this past year, and the vast majority are now into the implementation mode of their various programs. In developing the programs, they have to do it not only with ROI in mind, but they also have to understand the needs of the consumer as they start to distinguish their product offerings from that of other areas. So in moving into the implementation phase then, we have again a host of uh, program activities that will help those individual operators better understand ways in which they can distinguish their operations as being socially and environmentally responsible. We have a series of programs called Business Essentials. It's a series of workshops. One of the workshops actually uh, deals with environmentally responsible tourism practices. It's been in place for probably about seven years now and is intended as an inventory of activities that will assist those individual operators to recognize that they're going to benefit financially from adopting some of these leading edge practices, but also benefit in distinguishing their travel experiences in the marketplace. So then on the other side of the coin, we're looking at individual consumers. And probably the biggest challenge we're all going to have is with the proliferation of echo labels and echo branding that are taking place on the world stage. And with the confusion that's going to come with the echo branding, it's going to be very difficult to come up with the right, what we would call product positioning strategy, to assist our operators 
as a collective in distinguishing their activities so that consumers can readily understand, recognize, and then make that positive uh, purchase choice. So how do we do that? Well, we do it through a range of, again, of market-related programs, many of which deal with uh, booking reservations through uh, our system. It could be our call center, which is 1-800-HELLO-BC, uh, our website, hellobc.com, through our many publications that we produce, our travel guides. Uh, we inspect accommodation properties, so uh, on a two-year cycle, we will inspect 3,000 individual accommodation properties. So we've got a range of instruments available to help uh, the travelers better understand what types of activities they will be able to enjoy in British Columbia that meet the test of social and environmentally responsible practices. The challenge, of course, is in this day and age, uh, where the marketplace is in a certain amount of turmoil, is making sure that our operators maintain a steady presence and they continue to build upon the supernatural advantage that's come about through uh, the product offerings in what we would call one of the best places on earth, if not the best place on earth, as our Prime Minister Bennett would say. Uh, and so this is, uh, I think, a very unique opportunity because each year we would touch uh, thousands of operators, more than 160 different communities, 35 destination marketing organizations, and thousands and thousands of individuals who go through a variety of training programs that we have to offer. We're keen to uh, continue in pursuit of this, and we're very delighted to be working closely with our colleague partner organizations, and in particular with uh, Deputy Minister Steenkamp and his staff. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much.